Hey everyone, welcome to Dear Side Pursue today. Today I want to talk about living together or alone during this self-isolation and social distancing that we're all going through right now. Okay, let's say you're in a relationship and you are under each other's feet all day long because you're home together. And how do you handle this? So what I would suggest that you do is take at least three hours a day where you do something by yourself. You're not together with them, even if you're just going into different rooms in the house. Because let's face it, it's hard enough living in a small environment when you have the freedom to go out and to be sociable than to have to be clumped up in a house with somebody. If you're alone, connect with friends on Skype, on WhatsApp, on FaceTime, whatever you have to do to feel like you're socializing. Don't sit there and get more and more and more in, into yourself, isolating, because you feel that, oh, nobody really cares and nobody wants to know you're okay. They do. Everybody's just kind of freaked out right now and scared. So reaching out to people right now is a really good idea. So don't wait for them to reach out to you. I know that would be nice, but sometimes people are just freaking out and dealing with it in their own way. Pick up... Um, some kind of project that you can maybe do, whether it's something you've put off for a while. Maybe there's a book you, you've wanted to read or something you wanted to write online or some course you wanted to take or you wanted, you wanted to start yoga. You can get yourself, you don't even need a mat in your own home and just put a towel on the floor and do some beginner yoga. Do something that you've never done before. Keep yourself as, po as busy as possible. And if you are in a relationship and you, you and your partner are together all the time, communicate with, you, with each other. Yes, you're going to have short exchanges every so often. I mean, I'm doing it. I know I'm doing it right now. And I'm trying really hard not to. So the minute I feel like that, I start to pick myself up into some area that I can do something that enlightens me, makes me feel a little bit better that it's not all doom and gloom. There's all sorts of cardio equipment that you can rent. I have a spin bike at home. I use it constantly. I'm doing yoga in front of the TV. All these things that you can do just to keep your psyche up, like just keep your health and everything going right now because that is super important. You don't want to get run down. That is number one right now and drink lots of fluids every 15 to 20 minutes to keep everything moist in there. Don't watch the news five times a day. Watch it at dinner once a day just so that you know what's going on and if there's any new rules you have to adhere to. The more that we can stay positive and stay focused on, on the good things in life and that we are taking all the precautions we can right now, this is a good thing. And eventually we'll be able to get back out and socialize again. We're all going through it. We're all together on this. It's a worldwide problem. And if you're lonely, please reach out to somebody. And for those of you who are in a coupled situation, make sure that you're there for each other. Don't just assume that they're okay. Talk, communicate, and reach out to somebody who isn't with someone right now. That's really important. Don't just think it's your little cocoon at home and you're dealing with it. Reach out to somebody who needs you maybe a little bit more right now. Because right now, I think everybody's really feeling like so sad and is this ever going to be over? What's going to happen next? We need to stay positive and we need to all be together on this. Thanks for tuning in today and please let me know if you have any ideas we can give other people and what they can do right now to boost their spirits. Thanks everyone.